Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Y'all kick off the shoes and you set a spell, all right? Now here's your host for the show, that old Kentucky boy himself, Mr. Bob Snap. All right, guys, welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Hope you had a great weekend. I uh, want to start off the week with a video about Irene Ryan and how she used discipline to solve her energy problem. <clears throat> Excuse me. Irene Ryan played the role of the shotgun toting Granny Moses on, in the 1962 series of Beverly Hillbillies. Uh, Granny was a self proclaimed country uh, MD, mountain doctor, who claimed to have more knowledge than city physicians. And if you didn't agree with Granny's opinion, well, she had just the right amount of scrappiness to try and prove you wrong. She was everyone's favorite sassy grandma, the type you'd be afraid to see on Thanksgiving, but also the one you could rely on for some unhinged entertainment. Ryan was almost 60 during the first season of Beverly Hillbillies. She was a seasoned acting veteran who had uh, already been in the entertainment industry since the 30s. Being a working woman in her 60s with hard stance against retirement, which many other grannies her age would either be enjoying or considering. However, Ryan had her way of staying alive, awake, and alert during the long days of filming. People are always telling me I'm so lucky to have so much energy. It sounds simple, but it's not. You have to be disciplined, and you have to believe in the unlimited power of the mind. Ryan believed that people's attitudes affected their welfare and most people's undoing. Ryan said she tried to think positive thoughts as much as possible. When things on our Beverly Hillbilly set are in turmoil about something, I walk away from all that excitement and relax in my dressing room, she said. I escaped with happy thoughts, and when I return to the cameras, I have not drained my vitality needlessly. Another source of her energy came from learning to do everything in a more relaxed manner. When you rush around, you are often so tired you can't sleep, she said. I try never to make appointments too close together, for I've always believed that rest is related to feeling my best. As for her diet, she learned that eating slowly made her full faster. She learned this through the years on the road during improv, carnivals, vaudeville, and radio. Ryan would do uh, two shows a night and would travel 40 to 50 weeks. She said she wasn't the type to diet. Part of her positive attitude came from surrounding herself with funny people such as Bob Hope. Uh, she said that humor played a big part in staying happy. All I ever wanted was to be funny, she said in a 1966 interview with the Miami Herald. I never had much training in the serious side, just laughter. Some of those old, old vaudeville routines, well, let me tell you, they're still funny, she said. I did them with two kids, Max Bear Jr. and Donna Douglas at fairs and rodeos, and people got hysterical. Laughter just doesn't change that much. Working around funny young people, despite her feel, as though she was years younger than she actually was. Despite staying healthy for the majority of her career, uh, she suffered from a stroke in 1973 and was hospitalized. She was later diagnosed with a brain tumor and passed away in 1973 at the age of 70. Uh, her final tip for staying young, use lots of hot and cold water alternatively, alternatively. This stimulates the circulation and helps keep a good skin. She was so cool. Uh, the thing I have to ask about this one is why would she want to diet? She was so skinny, so little, <laughs> so wiry. God bless her. That's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget about classic TV facts and trivia. It's on Archie and Edith Bunker. Classic rock and country music facts and trivia. It's on the band Kiss and how they might have a street named after them in New York City. If you have not yet, please subscribe and please like this video. Thank you very much. You guys have a great day. God bless. Praying for you.